Hello Indie Game fans, I'm expecting a larger than normal crop of new indie game trailers this month due to some Kickstarter campaign launches already being announced, so I thought I'll get a head start in showcasing some awesome titles with new trailers to check out this month. We begin with the not so indie Crayon Shinchan game, announced during the Japanese Nintendo Direct, with a subtitle roughly translated as Me and the Professor's Summer Holiday, The Endless Seven Day Trip and it's a live sim title that simply looks wonderful. It gets an asterisk since while it's from a relatively small Japanese developer, the IP itself is massive, being a classic manga and anime title that has quite the following in Asia, with Singapore being no exception. It follows in the footsteps of the Doraemon farming title, but has you playing as a mischievous 5 year old boy and his adventures during summer, simply looking wonderful and wholesome with the possibility of a western release as well. I love Diablo style action RPGs and the pixel art entry Tor Eternum is of interest having an online co-op focus but looks fun in terms of action. Who is a chest? Mine! There is a ton of goblins coming in. I got this, watch this. Boom! Fucking uh, kill it. Boss moves to the door. Wait, what is Doom? That sounds bad. We're all going to die down here. Look out, look out! Lock has wings! Oh, I just walked into the fire. Oh, God. Pretty generic high fantasy setting, with what looks to be multiple copies of the same character sprites, which could be a problem, but I'm giving them the benefit of the doubt, with this seeking funding on Kickstarter with plenty of time to go. It's my healer. Oh, so many people chasing me! Bombers hit so hard. Holy crap! Oh god, I have so many goblin stacks on me. Oh, and as I mentioned the last time around, this will kick off the In the Hall of the Mountain King counter for 2021. Hey. <laughs> that was tough. <laughs> welcome, welcome to Castle Wormsgate. Ladies and gentlemen, bleeders and feeders, prepare to get wet. First up is our adorable little Urzbet. Isn't she sweet? Just, uh, don't call her a zombie. Or prepare to face... Oh, me. Next up, Cinella. Ooh, that's gonna leave a mark if her mouths don't soon after. And then we have Lucretia. But who am I kidding? These hatchlings already have her all to themselves. Peekaboo to you too. With the Stitch Twins, it's always a game of tug of war. Careful they don't settle for each getting half. Ah, Wick. Always seeing the good side of humanity. Who knows? Maybe that's why she's blind in one eye. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Oops! Too slow! Oh, but don't worry. The creep's bark is far worse than her bite. Or was it the other way around? When one pictures a black dragon in human form, what image haunts the mind? Shrouded in mystery, no doubt. A specimen of dark, foreboding atmosphere. Chock full of shadow flame and fury. I give you a fearless leader, Black. Just how dear did he come to fill this role? The world is about to find out. Out of all the Kickstarter titles to be featured in this video yet to achieve their target, 
I hope that Lucid Soul does, with this being a classically designed JRPG which looks fantastic, and as someone who grew up with this genre, this is of interest. As the fantastically done opening animated trailer shows, this is a high fantasy RPG with horror elements, with monsters, demons, zombies, spider ladies and more, where you play from the perspective of the villain and have to wreak havoc upon the world. Interesting multiple character party combat system, utilizing something known as soul points should keep things interesting, and the wonderful look just seals the deal for me. We did get a new trailer for Chicory, a colourful tale as well, being a wonderful puzzle adventure title where you play as a dog wielding a magic brush, having to restore colour to the land, and comes to us from developer Greg Mubanov, who you might know from the equally wholesome Wonder Song. Think Zelda but with less combat and more puzzles, with the ability to freeform paint your way through the world, and you can see why I'm very excited for this. This new trailer did confirm its release on PlayStation 4 and 5, and also got a release window of 2021 when it was previously 202X, so happy to know of this and glad to spread the joy. A wonderful deck builder title that I'm interested in is The Amazing American Circus, last seen when covering the Steam Game Festival last month, and here it is with the Kickstarter campaign. It's a deck building title where you and your travelling circus tour the United States, having, interestingly, the audience as the main antagonist in every round, having to thrill and impress the crowds with your stunts and performances. Wonderfully unique theme, and it's nice to see this being applied beyond the simple combat scenario, so it gets on the board for that. As of recording, it has 8 days left with about a third of the way to go, so check out the campaign if it looks of interest. There's quite the interesting story behind Mission in Snowdrift Land, a wonderful wintry platformer title that released 15 years ago. This was a video game advent calendar where you got a new level each day leading up to Christmas, but alas, the difficulty of game preservation meant that it was no longer accessible. However, fret not, the developers are looking to bring back that experience this December, remastering it for Steam with full screen and controller support as well as 60 FPS, so check out the campaign page and perhaps look forward to a little holiday joy later this year. My name is Jonas, I'm from Germany, and I make adventure games. Okay, let's give this another try. At the moment, I'm working on... Prim, a drop-dead charming, creepy but cute, point-and-click adventure game. Whoa! Too long for you? No problem. Let me put it this way. Imagine Monkey Island, but 
Tim Burton made the art, and Terry Pratchett wrote the story, inspired by Greek mythology. That's basically what it feels like to play Prim. Oh, and it's in black and white! The dark humor adventure game has certainly been done before, with titles like Agatha Knife or Little Miss Fortune, and the Tim Burton inspired art style has also been done, with titles like Don't Starve and Our Darker Purpose, but despite all of that, Prim did still manage to get my attention. Love the look of this and always happy to see someone making a classic point and click adventure game in 2021, and I'm also very impressed with the Kickstarter video created by the developer, giving off a very earnest vibe and I can just feel his excitement for the game with this already being fully funded, but check in on the rewards if interested. Perks such as HD graphics, a one-click interface and an optional hotspot display. And hey, we got a cute little spider eye that is Prim's sidekick. Just great. You can already play our demo, which is, by the way, fully voiced in English. I'm not a baby. I'm much too old for rocking horses. And German. Wenn du mich fragst, klingen alle diese Sprachen, als wären sie komplett ausgedacht. The final game will have a playtime of about six to eight hours. We're confident that we'll be able to release it in 2022. That all sounds pretty ambitious, right? Yes! Well, here's where you guys come in. My team and I, we need your help to make Prim look, move, and sound. I can't let it climb out of the window. It's much too high. As good as possible. And of course, you get something in return. Apart from the game itself, the Becker rewards include a digital art book and the game's soundtrack. And we also have some pretty cool physical rewards, like our cute little Prim doll. Why do I have the feeling that it's making fun of me? Or the big box version of the game that comes in a handmade wooden coffin. So why are you still watching this video? Back Prim on Kickstarter now. Let's make this game happen together. Okay, I trust you. Don't make me regret it. Do you struggle to find the time and energy to be kind to yourself? Modern life can feel increasingly divided, full of distractions and doom scrolling. That's why we're making Kinder World, a game of healing where you'll practice self-kindness skills by taking care of beautiful houseplants in a relaxing and lush atmosphere. I should mention that the rest of these are Kickstarter titles which have already been fully funded, but certainly worth checking the campaign if you're interested in backing an early copy or getting the higher tier rewards. So with that out of the way, Kinda World has to be mentioned. It's a mobile title which is not something that I cover all the time, but I do love wholesome games and this is one of them. You're growing plants and being kind to yourself, the community and the world, being a wonderfully warm title that I have to give a shout out or lazy when it doesn't stick. We've teamed up with psychologists and researchers to bring this to Kinder World in an evidence-backed way, making daily kindness accessible, effective and fun through houseplants. The gameplay in Kinder World has three elements. One, kindness to the self. Players grow and create their personal lush paradise by choosing plants like a Monstera for practicing gratitude or a Calathea for breathing exercises. Through procedural generation, every plant you grow in Kinder World is unique, and with customization features, your space becomes an expression of who you are. 2. Kindness to others. We're bringing the community together. As players practice kindness to others and pay it forward, you'll be able to receive and send supportive messages, see how others approach their self-kindness activities, and share things like plant cuttings with the community. 3. Kindness to the world. The Kinder World community is connected within and beyond the game. The in-game community tree will be a shared space focused on being kind to others, and the actions and choices of the community will directly impact the growth and appearance of the tree. The player community will also participate in events that support charities and global initiatives. Kinder World needs you. Our demo is available now on iOS and Android, but we need your help to realize the vision. 
think developer Feel Better Games is one of the best in the business in terms of excellent writing, with titles like Sunless Seas and Sunless Skies under their belt. So a natural extension is Mask of the Rules, a visual novel title, which is again not normally covered on the channel, but deserves a special mention due to the pedigree. It's also set in the world of Fallen London, being a Victorian Gothic inspired world with a touch of the occult and some cosmic horrors, which is an interesting setting, so certainly one for fans of the genre. I covered Jitsu Squad the first time around since it's a 2D beat'em up title that looks wonderful, but its Kickstarter campaign did awkwardly get pulled due to concerns about COVID, but it's back and better than ever. They did announce some partnerships and crossovers with other creators, but as a fan of this genre, I cannot say no. Alright, so I'm excited about this one but I do have my doubts since Sky Climbers is a cross-platform action MMO with monster taming elements and if you know me, a fan of creature collecting titles, of course it got my attention. There are sci-fi elements with spacecraft and planet traveling, robotic Horizon Zero Dawn looking enemies, a city or base building elements like Valheim, resource gathering, crafting, dragons, a so-called infinitely generated universe, multiple player classes, mounts, 9 plus factions, and releases on all modern platforms including mobile, so of course you can see why I'm very skeptical. Their LinkedIn page has two people, with their website listing this game and something called Printer Hub which is an e-commerce site for 3D printed objects, so even more reasons to be wary. However, giving them the benefit of the doubt and if they manage to pull it off, this might be one of the best titles out there with it already blowing past 10 times its goal, so fingers crossed people don't get burned on this and wishing the developer all the best. Why do they need assassins in heaven? <laughs> to do someone's dirty work. An interesting title that popped up during the Nintendo Direct was Neon White, a first-person action platformer where you need to juggle cards in real time where you play as an assassin in heaven, oozing all kinds of style due to the look and the art. Interestingly, this is from the developer who made this. Talk about a change of pace, but every confidence in this developer, so I'm looking forward to this kill or be killed. You won't last long if you can't rely on yourself. God's judgment has nothing to do with it. Grandma, tell us a story again, please. <laughs> we are the children of Pancha. For years, we roamed her lands looking for food and shelter. But one day, the world changed forever. With the first snowflakes, we found a place to settle, the place that we now call home. 
Once spring came, we explored the wilderness. The seeds we found took root and flourished. The animals became our friends. Well, maybe not all of them. <laughs> we discovered new ways to travel the lands and ventured deep to learn Pacha's secrets. The world turned into a canvas and our hands the brush. I love farming sims and I'm always on the lookout for the next great one with the Stone Age title Roots of Pacha being an interesting take. First off, love the pixel art, especially the animals and the environments, but there are some facets that make it different, such as having to dig irrigation canals to water your crops, no seed or animal shop, so you do have to forage and hunt and tame wild animals in hunter-gatherer fashion, with a central theme of evolution, learning and passing down of knowledge through your clan. Fresh take on the genre beyond the simple move to the countryside to inherit your grandfather's farm type of story, so it has my attention, taking the number one spot. Now we can look back at all we built and to all the moments that make this life special. We found friends, joy, and of course, love. I want to be a farmer. I want to help too. <laughs> There's still a road to be walked, and who knows, maybe with the efforts of everyone, piece by piece, we'll build something to stand for generations. For a look at more awesome trailers, check out this previous edition, and I will see you after the jump.